Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brenda and welcome. So today I am going to be doing a makeup look for you guys. Yes, you heard it right. I am back with the makeup looks after so long. Um, I'm doing this olive green, dark olive green fallish makeup tutorial for you guys. I was inspired when I received this palette in the mail and I am talking about this palette right here. This is the Lorella Adventures palette that they just came out with. It was so gorgeous and the colors were so beautiful. I thought it was just perfect, you know, to create this makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be creating this olive green makeup look for you guys. I recently just received this palette from Lorella. This is their new adventurous palette. I received it this week and I fell in love with it and I was just like, the colors in here are perfect for fall. So I was like, might as well just use it for a fall look. So this is what their new adventurous palette looks like has a variety of greens that's why i chose olive and then it also has like your neutrals your blues um very perfect 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 for fall i also really like the aesthetic of this palette it has so many destinations on here and it just makes me want to travel you know i just came back from miami so girl you need to chill um but yeah i'm going to be creating this look for you guys so we're first going to start off by priming my eyelid i'm going to be using this concealer by morphe as a primer um i don't really have a good primer that i like at the moment so i just use concealer to set um to set my lid so i'm just going to put a, a few dots on my eyelid and then blend it out with my morphe m173 brush i do have lash extensions at the moment um so it is kind of hard to do my eye makeup i put them on before i left to miami because i just wanted to you know to have no makeup and just have like my eyelashes ready to go but um it's been like almost two weeks and they're still going strong i still love them but it is hard for me to do like any eye makeup and i actually went ahead and put lashes and that was pretty hard too but um i still love them anyways i'm not gonna set my concealer and i'm gonna go straight into the palette so the first color that we're gonna be using is this pretty warm brown right here this is in the color chile and this is like a very pretty transition color we're gonna be putting that on the top of our crease i'm going to be blending that out with the morphe r34 and i am just going to be dragging that all across um, my upper crease as my transition color also guys i did want to mention that it's been so long since i've done a makeup look so the fact that i'm sitting down right here filming a makeup for you guys a makeup look for you guys is like crazy i want to say it's been over i want to say like half a year maybe not half a year actually maybe like four months since i actually sat down here in my room and film for you guys filmed a makeup video for you guys it's just insane i missed it so much and i kind of feel like motivated to do makeup looks for you guys i don't know if you guys watched a video of get ready with me that i did in chicago like two months ago i think um but i did one and i mentioned to you guys that i was just like very unmotivated and very like discouraged to do my makeup because i just didn't feel i feel like we all go through those stages but i didn't feel the best me when it came to makeup so i kind of you know stopped you could say i stopped doing makeup and i feel so good to be back i feel so good to be filming makeup videos obviously my channel will not only be makeup videos it will be everything related vlogs pranks you name it i'm gonna try to do any anything and everything but makeup is still like a very big passion of mine um so yeah it's very good to be back okay i assumed you guys in quite a little bit more um so the next color that we are going to be using is this color right here it's called australia australia um we're going to be using this color um right in the crease so i'm just going to be blending that out with um my morphe m412 and directly in the crease it will go so while i'm blending this i did just mention to you guys that i did get back from miami barely i got back uh when was it monday yeah i got back no tuesday and it is currently friday so it's been a few days not so long that i got back from miami and i loved it so much it was so much fun i went with another couple from chicago two of our good friends 
Um, me and Lorenzo went and met them up there and it was just so much fun. We had such a good time. I, I don't know what it is about Miami, but I just love it there so much. It's just so gorgeous. It's like LA, but like a lot more chiller and chiller, is that a word? A lot more chill and less crazy. Um, because I feel like LA is just like very pretty, but I feel like everyone's just like, go, go, go. Like everyone's just on the go. LA is still like my love, you know? But anyways, I was saying Miami is so freaking beautiful. Like, uh, I just love going there to relax and to spend my days at the beach. Um, to go have nice dinners, to walk by Ocean Drive and just like walk by the beach. I love it there so much. And it was just so much fun. We did quite a few things. Um, one of the things that I did that I thought I would never do is I went jet skiing and you're like, why wouldn't you do jet skiing? You're probably asking yourself why that, but um, I hate the ocean. One of the things I hate is swimming or I don't know how to swim. Let's just say that I don't know how to swim. Not that I hate it, but I just don't know how to swim. And when it comes to the ocean, I am super, super, super duper scared of it. So um, my boyfriend's like, let's go jet skiing. So. We bought jet skis and I never thought I was going to get on. I was just like, yeah, 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 you know what? I'll go with you guys. But I ended up getting on it and I was, I ruined my boyfriend's jet ski experience. Let's just say that. I I was scared shitless, literally scared. So um, that will be the first and the last time I ever go jet skiing. But uh, yeah, I also went canoeing, not canoeing, not canoeing, kayaking. I always confuse the two. I think they're pretty similar, but I went kayaking so yeah i did those two things and um they were fun but very scary i'm happy to say i like conquered a fear i guess of mine because i do really do hate the ocean like i don't i'm so scared of the ocean but it was just like an experience that i don't want to have again because i did it and i just didn't really enjoy it so i wouldn't want to do it again but yes we did have so much fun regardless in miami and I just really can't wait to be back. I love having group trips. I love going out and like spending time with my friends. So now that we have blended that in, I'm going to go in with this color right here. It is in the shade Jamaica and it's a very pretty matte um, olive green color. So I'm going to be picking that up with my Morphe M507. And we're just going to dab a little bit of that. And apply it right under that color Australia. So still in the crease. But you still want to make that um, the color Australia, you know, visible. This look was actually... It's something that just came to my mind right away. Like, out of nowhere. I knew that I wanted to create an olive green look. And it was something very easy. I think that this look it was literally took me like five, seven minutes to do this eye. So I think it's very easy to achieve. But yeah, it's very simple, perfect for fall. The fact that, hold on, hold the F up. The fact that fall is here, guys, is so crazy. Like, where did summer go? I honestly feel like summer went by so quick. I don't know, it just, it's so crazy. Anyways, <laughs> um, do you guys have plans for fall? I love the fall season. Fall and like winter are my faves, although, you know, I love hot weather. I love being able to wear like dresses and um, just going out in shorts and like being able to wear tank tops, although, I mean, it's still nowhere near cold in LA. But I do like the, um, the chilly weather, the chilly weather and like the cozy weather. So I am also excited for that. All right, that's coming together very, very well. I really like it so far. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to be cutting my crease. I'm going to be using that same concealer by Morphe and using a fat, flat brush, not a fat brush, a flat brush. <laughs> and I'm going to be grabbing some concealer and, you know, just carving out my crease really quick. So like I said, I can't really do my eyeshadow, so I'm going to put my eye down like this because my lashes get in the way and then I'm just going to carve it that way so now that we have cut our crease we're going to be using the star of the show the main 
eyeshadow color and that is this baby right here that is in the shade Ireland as you guys can see it's a very pretty shimmery olive green color and I'm just going to be packing that all over my lid again I feel like I have to do this because I can't apply eyeshadow over my eyelashes it's just pretty hard It's looking pretty bomb to me, if you ask. The color is going on so freaking pretty. These shimmers are so buttery too. Like it just feels so nice and it's so like smooth. It just goes on so smooth. It, there is a little bit fallout, nothing too crazy, but yeah. Overall, I love the color. So after I pack that color all over my lid, I want to grab the color Jamaica, the olive green matte color, and I want to put it on my outer crease. So I'm just literally going to apply like a little V on the outer crease using that color. And just pack it and blend it. All right, and we are pretty much done with the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes on now. Haha, <laughs> guys. I was looking for my lashes to come find out it's in my hair. That is so disgusting. It was literally in the desk behind me and I guess it just got caught in my long ass hair. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and apply my lashes on now. Um, I'm going to be using and these lashes, these lashes right here. These are the Makeup Shack lashes in the style Dubai. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pack them on my lash, my lash extensions. I don't know what's wrong with me guys. Sorry. I can't speak today but i'm gonna let this dry off a little bit first i normally wouldn't um apply any falsies on top of my extensions but like i said it's been already two weeks and they are kind of like sparse in some areas so i just want my eyes to look a little fluttery and like very full so that's why i apply lashes i haven't applied any falsies obviously since i've got them done because i felt like they look so good like there was no need for falsies just for this look, we're going to make an exception. <laughs> All right, guys, that was pretty much a mission to do with my extensions, but it is on now. Hopefully they stay on <laughs> and they're on the right way. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move on to my face. I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to be using this primer by um, Too Faced. This is a Hangover RX primer. We're just going to be applying it all over. So for foundation, I'm going to be using this baby right here. This is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. And I am using it in the shade Olive. Perfect color for perfect olive look. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using that as our foundation. And I'm actually going to be using this brush today. This is the first time I used this. Um, I picked this brush up at Beautycon. And it is by the brand... It is by the brand Moda. Moda brush. And this is um, basically a foundation brush. It comes with four. It's a set like this. What? The brushes are out of the box. But it's called the Face Perfection per Face Perfecting Kit. And it comes with four brushes. This, like I said, is a, like a big foundation brush. I've never used anything like this before, but I always use like, my, um, my big brushes to apply my makeup on. So I feel like it should work the same. So we're just going to go ahead. Actually, dust this off you never know anyways i'm gonna go ahead and apply like two pumps on it to the brush oh my god why isn't this working there we go and then i'm just gonna start off by um blending it oh this feels good very very soft this foundation is definitely one of my favorite foundations I love it so much the fact that it goes on very very like easily it blends so good it's matte but not like so drying and it's super full coverage that is exactly what I love so it is just like my go-to not gonna lie I don't know how I feel about this brush it picked up some of the product and it just stood there can you guys see that like it just stained it and I felt like it went in because I can't I can't take out any 
product out of it so much anymore also i feel like i look very light i am super tan at the moment because i just got back from vacation like i said so i am pretty tan but this foundation should fit good we should make it work also another thing i don't like is this brush head is a very it's not stiff can you guys see that like if i go like this it goes back and i would prefer it to be very stiff so i can just like blend it out but it's not really doing that guys so that brush is a no for me i have to go ahead and use my own brush just because i feel like it's not blending it right also i'm looking at my face and i look so crazy it just looks so light but we're gonna work this out i promise you it's not gonna look like this so i'm just gonna apply a little bit more foundation on my brush and then i'm going to blend it out with my regular um foundation brush this brush is by um by bh cosmetics and it's from their marble set We're going to move on and apply concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Concealer and it is in the shade 300. This is the first time I actually ever use this concealer. So we're going to actually see how well it is. It feels very nice. The consistency looks pretty thick. So we'll have to see how well it blends. As you guys can see, I go crazy on my concealer. Literally, I just dab it on like... It ain't anyone's business, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out now. Ooh, I actually really do like this concealer. The coverage is really nice, and it is blending into the skin really, really nicely. Now we're gonna set that with my translucent powder by Laura Mercier. Mercier, whatever. <laughs> I look crazy guys i know this is so crazy so i technically don't want my face to bake so much so i'm gonna go ahead and dust it off but as i'm dusting it off i'm applying this powder foundation and it is by cover fx and it's in the shade n50 the way i do it is when i am dusting it off i apply some of that powder already on my brush and like dust it off with the powder if that makes sense So we're actually going to go back into our palette. We're going to go ahead and finish the bottom half of our eyes. The first color that I'm going to use is the color Australia. And I'm going to start blending that on my bottom half eye. So I am just blending it all over the bottom half part of my eye. Going back in with the color Jamaica with our olive color. We're going to be putting that. Um, on the bottom half as well but we're gonna try to stick it right as close as we can to our waterline so i'm going to apply it straight onto the waterline and blend it out to officially finish off our eyes we're going to apply some bottom lash mascara i'm using this one by milani it is the highly rated yeah the highly rated mascara so we're just going to apply some of this on our bottom lashes and I'm not going to lie, the look looks a little dark right now, but when you see it, it looks so bomb. I get intimidated when I do dark looks, like dark colors, I'm not going to lie, just because I'm not used to it. And I don't want to end up looking like I have a black eye or anything. So yeah, it is a little intimidating for me, but nonetheless, I feel like the end result is always so beautiful. So I'm excited to see how everything just looks all put together. Now we're going to move on straight to bronzer and start bronzing up our face. The bronzer that I'm using today is this one by Physicians Formula and it is the Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. Yeah, that's the shade name. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, give our face some bronziness. <sighs> this smells so good. Every time I apply this bronzer, I'm just so in love with how it smells. I just want to eat it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a bigger brush just so I can get more bronzer all over my face. This is so much easier to blend it out. I don't know why I didn't start with this one in the first place. This is the Morphe M527. I love this brush just to give me a very bronzy look all over the face. It's just like very, 
very nice. It just blends it very, very nice. Moving on to blush, I'm going to be using this one by MAC Cosmetics. This is in the shade Gingerly. And we're going to apply this on the apples of our cheeks. Um, this is a blush brush by Lorella Cosmetics. It's in the set. It's in the Glitz Up Your Life brush set. I always like dabbing it on my cheeks and then bringing it back. So I'm going to set my face and prep it for highlighter. The setting spray that I'm going to be using is this one. It's the Dewy Set Setting Spray by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, I just love how this stuff smells. So we're just going to spray this onto our face. I love it. And then we're going to move on to highlighter. For highlighter today, I'm going to be using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. This is an oldie but a goodie. Can never go wrong with this one. I literally take it with me everywhere I go. Using the same highlighter, I'm going to highlight um, my eyes. So I'm going to apply some on the inner corner of my eyes and also on the brow arch. Our last step now is going to be our lips. I'm going to start off by lining my lips. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner and it is in the shade Nude Light. So after we applied our lip liner, we're going to move on to our lipstick. This one is the one that I'm using today. This is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Taunt. This is a very gorgeous nude. It's kind of like a peachy nude. It's so pretty though. So we're just going to apply this all over our lips. To finish off this whole look, we're going to apply some lip gloss. The lip gloss that I'm using is the Lorella Lip Gloss in the shade Best Life. I don't know what it is about these lip glosses, but they're so bomb. They're so shimmery, but not too shimmery where you feel like glittery and it smells like so good. These are just by far my best lip glosses that I own. All right, guys, so here is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved it so much. It's a very, like, dark olive green makeup look. It kind of even looks grungy, but I just love it so much. I loved how everything turned out. Hopefully, you guys liked it as well. It feels so good to actually have filmed a makeup video for you guys after so long. Um, I'm feeling like myself again. I'm loving it. So, yeah, if you guys like this video and if you guys want to see other makeup tutorials, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below i would really appreciate it let's keep on growing let's go to 2k let's go to 5k let's go to 10k i'm so excited for this growth guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye